Alright, we're going with a durian mochi. This is about to smell like straight booty hole. Hey, nobody said it's it gonna smell like a bug breach. <laughs> Ain't nobody said it won't smell. We're gonna see. Yeah, it's bro. durian. The fruit that is known for having one of the worst smells ever. Well, if they turn it into a mochi, it gotta taste something good. Hi, hello, and welcome to the show. My name's Trip, and in today's video, I challenged my friends to go and find the weirdest, wackiest snacks in our local Asian supermarket, and they did not disappoint. We have about $120 worth of snacks, so there's a lot to choose from. And if you wait to the very end of the video, there's three different ramens that we picked up, so yeah, wait till the end for that. Now, for the ranking system. We decided to go with the great, good, bad ranking system, but we just said Bot Diver, Bug Diver, Bug, based off of Hell Divers 2, because we're just really into that right now. I don't know why, but you know, it's, it's fun. But yeah, so if you hear us say Bot Diver food, that means it's great snacks. If you hear us say Bug Diver food, that means it's good or edible. And if you hear us say Bug food, then that means it's bad. <laughs> That's all it means. We really enjoyed filming this, and I enjoyed editing this, and I'd like to do more. So if you would like to see more, uh, let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got. I hope you enjoy, and here comes the intro. How's it going, divers? Today, we're trying to figure out which snacks go to the automaton fighters, which snacks go to the bug fighters, and which one goes to the bug. <laughs> We're, we're, we're munching on snacks. What is this? <laughs> what? It tastes like... <laughs> grilled onion. Right? Grilled onion. It says baked, never fried. So baked. you know these things are going to be ass. Because baked <laughs> chips are fucking <laughs> bad. No more <laughs> Crispy? Crispy with a side of paint. This shit is childproof. <laughs> Crispy with a side of paint? <laughs> this shit is childproof. We need some help, dog. Big man food. Alright, uh, snacky snack since you opened it. Let's snacky snack for you. Snacky snack. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a smell. That, that's a, that's a stench. Mm. That is... I vote bug food. <laughs> that shit's bad. I mean... Oh, why is it sweet at the end? I don't know. It's, it's an like, onion. It's like sweet with a hint of gooch. It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's an onion. But it it's is like. It's definitely an onion. That is like pure onion. But like when you go <laughs> in for it, you're like, okay. You look at it, it's chip. You think onion ring. Actual onion ring. Yeah. Well, okay, no, no sorry. American onion ring. No, you look at it and you see that it's onion flavored. So you think onion. Yes, no. this, yes. this is not a funion. This is softer, and this is more <laughs> like a, a. Someone took a sweet onion, and like had that near these chips. There's like nothing. if you're from Georgia, you know about Vidalia onions. This shit is trying to imitate like that sweetness, but it just ain't doing it. No. Yeah, bug food. And okay. Yeah, I, I like. Uh, we're gonna go tapioca ball. What? Tapioca ball. Tapioca. Tacoyaki. Tacoyaki. I'm white. <laughs> so are we. <laughs> Poor man was trying for his life. You see, this is why I... Now, I've had these before, and I know they are fucking fantastic, so... I'm not Japanese, so I'll say everything wrong. Uh, three nuts. Okay. Okay. Easy automaton diver food. It's good, but I need more. Like, I don't, I don't know how to describe what I'm feeling right. right now. I'm hungry. All right. I'm, Think of it like I'm this. guessing you're missing, like, the sauce that's typically on top of the ice. Yeah. Think of it like this. It's almost like cheese balls. To continue to taste, because it tastes good, you're going to keep on coming back for more. Yeah. But the good thing about these is it doesn't stick to the teeth as much. True. Which is very nice. All I'm right. going to get a dictionary at some point and go back to elementary school too. <laughs> Getting better at my words. All right, let me grab one. Um, I'll be, I'll be a little baby The reason bitch. we aren't grabbing the ramen is because that's just gonna take a minute to cook. Yeah, uh, the ramen's just gonna be a minute. 
Yeah, the ramen's probably gonna be the last three items we do. Egg cookies. Is it egg? Egg cookies. Yeah, it says oh. egg cookies. Okay. And it's got a little baby and some little birds. We didn't care if this was baby food. We said- uh, I think it is baby food, honestly. It could be, we just grabbed it and it's already open because- um, Big man got hungry. <laughs> I think we grabbed baby food. Probably. Generally and truly, I think this is just baby food and- I'm It okay tastes with... like powderized condensed milk. I cannot say you're wrong there. Give... After thinking about it, yeah. Give it to the bug fighters. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go for these nacho pizza flavored crisps. That can be either some of the best shit that we've ever had. Like getting a good snack, go back for more. Hey, the first easy open. Second to the thing that was already open. <laughs> They smell like the pizza Pringles. I don't know. I never smelled Pringles before, so I, I never. I just it's like food. it's a little bit off, but go for it. They're weird, like hexagon-ass shapes. The aftertaste. It's pizza Pringles. Facts. It starts out like... As a confused cheese flavor. That's like one of the best ways to put it, but ultimately I gotta say, I don't hate it. The aftertaste is good. Like, yeah, it leaves the sensation of pizza-esque. Esque. Yeah. That's the best way to say it. I give that to the automaton fighters. Oh. Okay, we can give it a mix between Depending on the day, the automaton fighters aren't feeling it. We ain't gonna force them to it. Yeah. So a mix between bug and automaton. Yeah. Yeah. This one's a floater. This one, we got ourselves an otter. <laughs> Whatever. We're gonna go with this. Nah, no brand crispy potato. <coughs> and uh, there's nothing else about it. It's just it. I don't know. We see chili on it. Chili of some sort. Hopefully it's good. All level of spice. A level. Oh. oh. What? Oh. Oh, no, they're like fries. Oh. oh. Shit. All right. I'm not seeing any red, so I don't know about spice. No. My I see what appears to be all seasoning. No. There it is. Those are fucking good. The sweetness caught me off guard, but it really does kick in right there. Mm -hmm. It's not its not like an unbearable spice. It's like a nice tick to the tongue. Like one that you want to keep coming back for, but it doesn't hurt. Reminds me of a... Uh... It's almost like a veggie straw. Yeah. But it's like a not, like a, just a mid-range spice. All right, if there happens to be any British viewers, think of your sweet Thai chili. And it's like a slow heat. Mm -hmm. It's not immediate. You chew it up, you swallow it, and then it comes on, and then it goes. Definitely to the automaton divers. Hell yeah. This shit, good, good. All right. That's an enjoyable snack in the midst of democratic liberation. All right. <laughs> I, I, I was purposely <laughs> waiting on those ones. <laughs> Skip, I'm going. I'm going for the anger. I skipped Green back. He said, uh, he, "Just anger." He wants violence. So, for those of you who don't know, this is like filet mignon flavored A5 wagyu. It's A5 wagyu beef. A, A5 wagyu beef flavored Pringles. Or sorry, Lay's version of Pringles. Now, me and him have had a chip, not a Pringles <coughs> like chip, but uh, a normal chip that was a like a beef flavor and the amount of rage that it gave us. Tasted great. The problem wasn't with the taste, it was in the fact that you expect beef, you expect actual sustenance and you get chip and it's gone and beef gone. So now you're angry. Some small ass chips. Mm. It's 
That's all I needed to see. It doesn't have that much of a smell to it. No, that's how they get you. I'm ready to throw hands. It's good. <laughs> but I'm ready to throw hands. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how you make it taste like a steak. So you see what we meant by earlier, like you, you're gonna get mad. Do you, are you angry? <laughs> There's everything to it. The flavor. I mean, and what chill. really pisses me off is, like I said earlier, I had steak last night. <laughs> so and it's it's steak, just not. Yes. Like if you let it just like sit on your tongue, you get some of it, but you, and you know it's a f chip, so you gotta the chew problem. it. But it's just crunch. The problem is it literally tastes like the fibers of the meat that you're tasting. Yeah. The the, the, the tang of char. I don't know like how the they managed essence. to pull off that flavor, but it's way too accurate. <laughs> All right, time for some more dog food. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite time of the day, dog food. My favorite snack, me. bro. Bro. Scooby Scooby snack. <laughs> Scooby snack, yeah. I, I say it's dog food, but it's actually sesame flavored biscuits. We're calling it dog food. Because of it looks sesame. like dog food. It kind of smells like dog food, but at the same time, it's just a very strong smell of sesame. <laughs> Singular stick. This one's for your ass. Very dog foody. You ain't. <laughs> Do we buy dog food? Oh. Okay, all in all, it's not that bad. It's a brick of sesame. Yeah. And I don't know what to do with it because it's just. sesame. Oh, did we say what this was? Yeah. Okay. I say bug diver food. Bug oh, food. Oh. Uh, that, yeah, oh like no! It. Wait. No, we didn't, we didn't go off of what this was. It was just anger. I want to see an angry bug diver. I want to see him just absolutely writhing in hatred because they have to eat this. I'm not giving this to an its own tongue player. Yeah. Okay. But because it's not bad enough to be bug food. So yeah, bug diver. I don't like. It. I'll just say it, but I'll, I'll gladly... If you needed to eat something, you desperately needed to eat something. That's why I said bug diver food. Yeah, there's sustenance. This is like, I'm out of munitions, food, supplies, period. These bitches last eight months. That's crazy. I bet they do. <laughs> you know what else lasts like eight months? Fucking begging strips. <laughs> flavored chips and honestly I, you know this is like the thing that fat people grab it's healthy that that's cucumber i ain't even cap it. it is straight cucumber <laughs> i'm gonna dig in i'm gonna hate this I don't know what one was expecting. <laughs> okay, so guess what? These bitches taste exactly like <laughs> cucumbers. Like there is no difference between eating this and a cucumber. <laughs> Except there's no liquid. It tastes like it has liquid. That's the problem. I don't like it. That. Does. I don't like that at all. I get, I got no liquid. I got no like squishy crunch. It's just chip crunch. It's, you know. <laughs> it was like savory cucumber and that's it's not like a pickle savory cucumber it's no savory cucumber they don't add up it's savory as in the way like oh, original just plain chips are savory and then cucumber. but then cucumber <laughs> yeah no it's like everything a chip was and then somehow they just decided cucumber. for whatever reason i say bug diver food it's not Bad. I love bug food. It's f***ing trash, bro. You know, but it is very conflicting. Looking at it, 
We constantly say we'll give it to the bugs or the automatons. I think we rate that if it would just kill them. This wouldn't kill them. This would give them sustenance. I think we burn it. Yeah. <laughs> no one gets it. It goes in the fire. It goes in the fire. Fair. That's below bug food. Uh, that I, I would feel bad about the bug diver eating that. It's conflicting. Oh, uh, there I got it open. You're individually wrapped, bro. Oh, no. Here you go. <laughs> And that right. is definitely ube, because that is a very deep purple. That is a... It doesn't have much of a smell. <laughs> that shit ass, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. Uh, nope. Mm. Nope, that's that would kill a bug. Yeah. Better than bug better food. than a, better than a grenade. Bug food, definitely. Um I'll use it as a sticker grenade or lure them in and then you know cover a grenade in. Peach and beer flavor. It's only redeeming qualities. It wants you to do like a LaCroix flavored peach. Oh, that's what I'm expecting. Now okay, you know what? No, is it a lace? Yeah, no, it's a lace. Okay, they just hit it with, with cucumber. It's ridge. They lace. just hit us with, like, actual cucumber. Yeah. Fruity as shit. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's where I had to come back. Yeah, that is... That is a peach... That's a peach alcohol. That's peach beer. Get a better chance. It's busy. <laughs> the front half of it. I don't like. Yeah, that. It, it's a peach ring, the but it's a carbonated peach ring. I don't like the aftertaste. I don't like the mid to aftertaste. Oh, shit. The initial. Yeah, no. That'll kill a bug. Uh, yeah. Uh, no. That kill yeah. them both. Yeah, that might kill the automaton. The automaton don't even eat. No, that, that does something to your tongue when you munch on it. When they're talking about the fizz, it's like the feeling that for us Americans, Pop Rocks gives you that feeling. It's like Pop Rocks on a damn potato chip. I don't like that. It was not fun. That is, um, what? That is not Pop Rocks. I don't like eating a potato chip and taking a peach ring followed up with funk. Because that's all I can describe the back half is. And uh, that's going. For non American viewers, I'm pretty sure it's the Szechuan bud that feels like carbonation and electricity. It other, has that feeling. Other people may like it, and that's the thing. It's more of the way it comes across Dude, that's messing not up. The Carbonation feeling? No. no. That's it's the way it comes across because taste wise, I mean, I I like the peach ring. Yeah, aftertaste. Eh. I like peach rings. I do. That, however, is an abomination to democracy. <laughs> <laughs> that is treason in uh, a bag. Some kind of you can obviously tell some kind of Oreo brand. We don't. I'm not a wheat flour cookies. <laughs> wheat flour cookie. Okay. It's a wafer. Whole wafer. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's that's a vanilla with chocolate wafer. It's the same type of wafer as a Nutty Buddy. Mhm. Mm mmm. Fast. That's less. I'm giving that straight to the Thomasons. They need to make their ha self happy. Yeah. All right, so we got another Oreo deal. Hazelnut. Yep, hazelnut. Oh. It's quirky. Oh. oh, it's another wafer thing. Oh, it's a little wafer <laughs> cubes. <laughs> they stole that shit. <laughs> okay, well. I Automaton say, fighters, easy. I, I can say, okay, it's almost like Nutella 
ish because you know Nutella's hazelnuts. Yeah. yeah. So I like it. I'm all for it. I tell them it's hot diver food. One of hundred percent. Jimmy. Come on, Who's Jimmy. the smart ass who put one Kit Kat up here? <laughs> So that was in the fucking thing. <laughs> oh, there's two more, man. Are there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what kind of cake? Hey, milk, the milk tea. tea. You milk put one up here. There's three of us, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought we just accidentally dropped that shit in there. I'm not going to lie. I probably was. <laughs> as soon as it hits your tongue, it's fruity pebbles. And the aftertaste is fruity pebbles. But as you're eating it, it's, it's a, a different flavor. Oh, it's like a regular boba tea. Yeah, I think about it. Really sitting there thinking around on the taste. It's poop and fruity pebbles, and then it's a boba tea. All right, we're going with a durian mochi. This is about to smell like straight booty hole. Hey, nobody said it's it's going to smell like a bug breach. <laughs> and, and nobody said it won't smell. We're going to see. Yeah, it's bro. durian, the fruit that is known for having one of the worst smells ever. Uh, if they turn it into a mochi, it gotta taste something good. There we go. I'm gonna go and rip somewhere. I wouldn't suggest smelling it because it's just off putting, but go ahead. <laughs> I'm already not a big fan of mochi. Oh, it smells like wet feet mixed with dog. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> the sweetness is good. It's not that bad. It tastes like the bunions off a of soldier's foot after ass Krakistan, okay? <laughs> yeah, no, this is um, <laughs> this is bug food. Yeah, that's a this is a poison. We have just been poisoned by Noir. <laughs> Oh, what mochi is this? Sesame flavored mochi. I don't know why I've grabbed so many sesame flavored. I, I know that this one's good. Yeah, you also like the <laughs> sesame stick dog toy. I said it wasn't bad. That is sesame flavored because the seeds is the yeah, damn mochi. It's covered in sesame seeds. To like it, you really gotta like the taste of sesame. God <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn! <laughs> what in the name of liberty? If oh. you've ever used toasted sesame oil, that smell that lingers and permeates everything, that's what this tastes like. Bug diver food? All right. All right, uh, so on the left we have creamy, creamy carbonara, the one that's been taking over the internet for whatever reason. That's that shit is nuclear orange. So on your right is creamy carbonara. Go ahead and... In the middle, it says quattro cheese. It's actually five cheeses. Yes. That shit is also a very odd orange color. And then on the right is the Gogi Alfredo with like actual fettuccine noodles. Uh, wow. There's two bowls for the quattro because one of them got microwaved, and I decided to give him uh, to give it a fair chance. I think it's gonna taste like ass either way. It's just gonna taste like five different cheeses. I don't. We'll figure this out. Which one? You chose the quattro cheese to start. Yeah, I did. So, do we start microwave or we'll start microwave? All right. It's a slightly cheesy version of just uh, bulldogs, like original spicy chicken. That's it. It's ever so slightly cheesy, even though it has five different <laughs> cheeses in it. Mulock usually delivers on their heat. Yeah. All right, now we try the- The see. pot one. Yeah. See if there's a difference. The one that was made as the other two were. <sighs> the off the bat, so much more <laughs> cheesy. That is why, go all the way through. Give everything its fair try. That one? Okay, making it in a pot, it tastes a lot better than just microwaving it. But I mean, that's to be expected. If I had to eat it, sure. 
I give it bug food. Or not bug food. Bug diver food. Bug diver food. Yeah. Do cream cream. carbonara? Yeah, I think. I think it's only fair. We follow it up with that and leave the bagolgi last so we don't uh, cross contaminate. <laughs> yeah, so start this batch off. So what is it's, the hype over this thing? I don't know. It's creamier for sure. It's creamy as but I do not understand the hype. The things that it has over the Quattro is quite literally. You wanna know what it tastes like? Mm. You know the shitty, creamy chicken flavor from Maruchan? It's a better version of that. The thing that it has over the Quattro cheese though. Creaminess? Creamy. Yeah. It, other than that, it's the same thing. I think I had too much water in it. Probably, I mean. That just tastes like wet noodle. Yeah. I think I had too much water when I made this. So, bug diver food, bug diver food, bug diver food, bug diver food. Yeah.